Leviticus chapter 20. The laws given in this chapter are mostly repeated from previous chapters. The difference is now we have the consequences for breaking the laws. These are God's instructions to Moses. Listen to verse 1. He says, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, and he begins to outline all these consequences. God has instructed the people of Israel to set themselves apart, to separate themselves from other nations, to not follow blindly the culture and customs of the day or of other peoples. So God is saying, don't go to their mediums, their wizards, their spiritists for advice or counsel. This was displeasing to the Lord. One law was very significant. If you curse your parents, you could be stoned or put to death. Sacrificing children, seeking the blessing or provision from the God of Moloch, well, that also resulted in the death penalty. Sexual sins, adultery, incest, carry deadly consequences. And many sexual sins that are celebrated and accepted in our culture today, some pretty gnarly stuff in this chapter, extremely perverse. Well, listen to verse eight of chapter 20 as I read it to you. It says, and you shall keep my statutes and perform them. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. So the Lord is saying this, don't get wrapped up in culture. Don't be pulled into perverseness. Keep yourself holy and keep yourself separate because he says, I've asked you to keep my statutes. And God is out to keep us, well, to keep us healthy, to keep us safe, both physically and spiritually. And so he gives amazing, difficult, deadly consequences for breaking his law. Because he's harsh and he's cruel? No, because he's loving and he wants a people that represent him rightly. Not absorbed into the culture, not like the nations around them, but a holy people that serve a holy God.